Hi guys, welcome to part 4 of my 2024 Christmas Village full tutorial series already a month. And it is finally the part, this part 4, of the waterfalls. And guys, I'm uh, trembling and I had nightmares all along the week simply because I really, but really don't know if my modified soap to make it harder will stand the task of supporting all that uh, forces, almost a 60 centimeters of waterfall build on soap. And uh, yes, I, I, I had nightmares, really nightmares. For the next couple of weeks, I will disassemble on the bridge because I will need to work on front row. So you will not see it or him for a couple of weeks. And I need to prepare the mini lake, the down lake. And I will surely complete the uh, stairs, the new stairs, adding all the remaining things that are missing. I will leave this with only the painting remaining to do. And the painting is piece of cake, guys. But I really want to complete, to finish the, um, the stairs, platform, stairs, call it whatever you want. And then, I don't know, but let me let me start then I will cry maybe here I have some crinoline also known as horse air braid <laughs> what is horse air braid it is used by tailors to make some wedding dresses for example or something like that it is polyester so it is synthetic plastic it is is plastic and elastic as you can see I can enlarge I can pull it and then enlarge it but the main characteristic I want to show you is this one guys it is and you can see the lines <laughs> the lines uh, on under it okay so it is almost transparent I can also place uh, my end and you can see it is transparent what <laughs> why not what why I am showing you this because this will be the support it is a little larger on top but I will cut it as the first support for my two waterfalls why I am using this because if I wanted to pour something vertically if I don't have a, a support like this one, the soap, the melted soap will simply pour down, pour down and not follow a curve or a path. But using this, I will generate a path for the liquid soap, almost regaining the solid state. And first I will, um, use my hand to uh, fill all the holes and uh, create a real support. And then I will pour one batch at a time the melted soap on this. Uh, hoping because <laughs> I simply hope because it is a theory as always to achieve some sort of um, a waterfall and this will disappear behind the water. When you pour something vertically, if, they, if it don't have some, um, some flow, some um, speed, it tends to pull, fall down vertically. That's why if I pour simply the water like that, I will obtain a vertical um, waterfall. But if you imagine that the flow 
will have a certain speed so the water will not simply fall down vertically uh, once joined the border the, of, the, of the mountain but it will get a little forward creating some sort of uh, parable uh, tier in theory but I don't know I will use it in some hours surprise guys <laughs> here I have something that I made and uh, it will be used for the stair platform with stairs as you can see it is somehow similar to what I did last time with a pillar there and Android and some uh, columns under there okay pillar and columns but what I have here here I also have a street lamp a giant street lamp connect a new type of street lamp that it has the top screwed you can see that I can screw and unscrew the bulb here new version went crazy once again and it is working guys I can show you that um, it works positive and negative here with the simple battery and tada guys it is lighted on with a very small very tiny 1.8 millimeters white LED inside and the LEDs I don't know if I have them Ooh, they were there those are the LEDs I used and they are absolutely absolutely invisible skies look at them like that 1.8 millimeters but they are very very bright and I don't uh, show you the entire process but because I use it the same process um, you have seen me using uh, when um, some months ago uh, with my tutorial on how to build street lamps for your Christmas villages but if you want to know how I obtain this here is how
Let's continue with the stairs, with the platform, with the stairs. I was there with the circle, the central circle, but I am missing there. I removed what I have here because I wasn't satisfied with it. What I made, guys, I made this thing here. I don't know if you can see, but it is somehow uh, diagonal okay i used the diagonal there and then i used also some rounded pin to make something so um, the squares are 1.5 millimeter sorry guys 1.5 centimeters by 1.5 centimeters and then uh, one square yes and one square not some circles there and no secret, I used an old brush, the center of an old brush because the tip of an old brush because it is perfect and then I simply push it like that and I made them for all. Let me simply um, place them, okay? Then I will go ahead with something more. Okay guys, now, now, look what I have here. I have some, uh, I don't know, some plinker, maybe, that it is 1.7 centimeters wide, 1.2 centimeters deep, it has a depth of 1.2, and then as uh, this slope here that is 56 degrees from the um, from the horizontal line it means that it is a little op a little wider than 45 degrees and guys I am going to make them and to place them on the sides there hoping to get them where I need them to be so on the sides there I will do that
Final recap of part 4 of the 2024 season and I'm starting obviously from the stairs slash platform plus stairs. It is complete. No, it's still missing the giant statue in the middle there, but it will come next part with next part, part 5. But the process is complete. I even marked all the steps there, all the elements of the steps from this side and from the other side there too. 
then what I did there and uh, sorry guys it's not leveled on the ground because I have uh, some brackets like this one <laughs> under there so it's not perfectly uh, on ground okay at ground level but those pieces make a difference in uh, design there uh, just uh, something more than uh, with the um, uh, two more balustrade um, handrails there with the um, street lamps another version version number three of no maybe version number four of the street lamps you will see in this 2024 season and i also made a couple more gargoyles uh, this one uh, is ready to uh, take take off with his wings and the other one is there guys and so here we have a cup total of four uh, gargoyles one two three and four and look guys the palace ballroom uh, i must admit this form here of the platform it was intended for this building here i don't know if i will place some handrails some balustrade here on this level here maybe not maybe yes i, I don't know right now i'm saying no and it has almost the same uh, form the same uh, perimeter of the palace ballroom and two more buildings will be added one here and one there what else can I say? I still need to paint this. I will prime uh, flat white with my airbrush and then I will paint everything. <laughs> it will take some hours here. Oops, sorry, Gargi. And uh, here I will place uh, the statue and it will be it will be something, guys. And uh, the design there that I have remodeled it's not that bad, but it's not a top-notch, top perfect. But uh, it is just for for <laughs> for the uh, pleasure of doing it because uh, the ground will be covered here by the two buildings, and then uh, with something more. Uh, I don't think I will need to add some more street lamps because those are very bright and are placed in strategic points this street lamp can produce a very good amount of light, of light even on the stairs this one too and this one will illuminate this building and this other building plus the main here but this building has powerful led inside because i've replaced the original orange with some bright white bright uh, led inside and it has movement guys palace ballroom vintage very beautiful as i already told you uh, nothing more to say about this and another time the point of view the general point of view guys i don't think it is too bad but it's not up to me to judge i still don't know what buildings are there and there uh, we'll see we'll see now guys let me pan and go back because guys this is those are the two waterfalls use the method i've used i never done before and i still needed to complete the lake there because i don't i stop it there because here I will have the river <laughs> and it is very heavy guys and I figured that this lake I placed a real rock this is a real rock in plain middle there not in plain middle but there white waters and guys this is the effect I wanted and please look with this effect I it is this that I was interested in pouring the hot soap almost regaining a solid state there layer after layer after layer 
it generates also some stalactite. They are stalactite made from soap, but it was this the effect I wanted also. And here the support has disappeared and guys this is this is steady. I don't think it will break during the season. From this side too, here I have two more couples of stalactite. I hope they will not break uh, once I will remove these and go back once again. But these will stay there for a couple more weeks, guys. I need to do some improvements. And also there, stalactite there, made from ice and one or so from the back there okay and the flow getting there uh, down and down also it creates layer after layer and then once I had the chance there that this one is a big chunk that I stopped at the right there it didn't, it didn't get uh, down to the floor but it stopped there while I was pouring and you can see the lines I don't know if you can see but you can see the lines of the soap going down down and with this clear soap there I managed to also get some icy reflection you can see that it is icy reflection and uh, the support has completely disappeared you don't even notice if you hadn't seen me uh, adding the support there and the begin in the beginning uh, I don't think you will notice and even from the top guys I also added the, the other waterfall there on top back there okay well, white water because it has a very important uh, flow and then the mini lake on top here with some ice uh, with some water uh, I still needed to place some more vegetation than a little touch of soap once again but and here the splash i know in the beginning the two uh, waterfall went here one here and the other there but it was too far from the wall guys too far it will have meant having a flow a very powerful flow and then get in there and you notice that it is not a perfectly physically correct to more stalactite there when you place the camera from the side but the camera won't be taken this one is almost good like this this one i think it is a little much curved like that it would have been correct like this but guys <laughs> this is almost impossible to do uh, with this method here with this technique here and then so the water is uh, splashing on top of the rocks there that's the reason why i have so much white water there with the water splashing down then it has formed uh, some ice obviously but it is uh, splashing against the rock there uh, some more you can see that with this method also the stalactite go down 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 and also make formation ice formation there and uh, even from this side, the ice formation is from the stalactite that you have here, ploof, 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 and you have the ice formation that are uh, doing the stalagmite from back, from ground to top. Uh, this is the best I could do with this technique. Perfect? No, you can always. Uh, perfect um, uh, add some more perfection to this but as a premiere as the first time doing this i don't think it is a bad result at all and the two and the two waterfall are not uh, symmetrical i tried to go with different pouring time and here you have the piece of ice there here you have another one there and and so on but everything has been poured from top to down and everything has made its proper path going down uh, the first thing i forced is the beginning when you have seen me um, 
having the soap on my hand uh, by the way never had cleaner hands in my life and uh, uh, trying to patch all the holes of the uh, of the crinoline of the say a braid there uh, in order to not have the uh, soap getting through the holes and uh, splashing everywhere once uh, the soap hardened uh, again when doing this I then started pouring layer after layer after layer it took me nine hours of work to complete this I haven't shown you everything another stalactite I haven't noticed before is there guys and uh, natural it is natural okay if you see this because i always poured the soap from the top here and from the top there if you follow the stalactite you see that with this configuration the waterfall should have gone uh, there 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 and then here following the path this is what happened with the uh, no flow with very low flow water getting vertical down and here as this is a little inclined the path was this one going this one like that this is forced one not very uh, very powerful but it is a, a flow um, what else guys um, from the distance once again uh, sorry guys I should have placed the, these on the back but I don't have enough uh, back I've joined the, the the wall there I'm against the wall and this uh, it, it will have a better good looking a better point of view sorry guys I'm tired when it will be on the back there okay uh, let me see if I can get a little back maximum I can get back it is this one okay like that and this is the starting of the waterfall no 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 you can't go to the prom you are too old to go to the prom in the palace ballroom <laughs> What he, what he was thinking. Guys, part four. I'm sorry, I'm completely sweating right now. I started with sweat everywhere this part four and I continued all along this part four. It is very hot. I'm very tired. The waterfalls and you may appreciate from the lateral view there that they are not perfect, but guys, this is the best I could do with this technique that it is somehow very time consuming be prepared for the giant statue uh, it has come out from the uh, resin printer half an hour ago it will be ready for part 5 I think and then guys it's I forgot the holes for the wires to connect the street lamps but I simply needed to make two holes there vertical holes and then the uh, wires will fit in and it will be done I don't know the color maybe you can suggest the color should I do it a gray should I do it a pure white I don't know I don't know please <laughs> suggest me some some way of uh, painting that if you want waterfall guys I also forgot to tell you during the final recap that I also use the some plaster uh, as um, uh, as a as the bed as the lake bed sorry I'm tired as the bed lake uh, this prevented the soap to uh, sp spill everywhere and to filter uh, into the um, expanded uh, styrofoam as uh, the previous season as in 2023 but it is like that not that much mm. <laughs> just think at 
how long it is to make the waterfall and the two lakes, guys. And the new street lamps, guys, with the bulb screwing. It's the first time I made something that uh, it is thinked uh, in case you broke, in case the LED will poof, explode, you simply need to unscrew the bulb and then replace the LED very easily. The other street lamps weren't that engineered. This one, it is engineered. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give big thumbs ups. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing my tired English and see you for part five, but only if you really want, but maybe you prefer watching the Olympic Games. <laughs> Bye guys.